Welcome bam back pow with another video. We're going to be talking about Carvana. Ticker symbol CVNA. This is clearly squeezing up to the moon, up 43% today. Now, I actually told you about this one earlier. If you go back to my channel, I posted a video right here 2 days ago on Carvana, massive run incoming. Watch fast. Did you watch it fast? Probably not, okay? But I let you guys know everything that was going on with Carvana. I don't make these videos for fun. They're literally to help you the best way I can, try to give you guys stuff early and so forth, right? That video is right here. Now, look at Carvana, up to the moon. I literally drew everything out, my buying level, target here, target here. Literally drew it out all the way up here, and that's what's happening. So hopefully you made it, maybe you did it. But now I'm going to talk about the next big play I'm looking at for Carvana because actually it has another target it has not hit yet, okay? So we're going to go over that. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you. And get the video over 100 likes. I appreciate it. Also, make sure you use that code 11 now, 11% off your first month, elite or VIP, and two months for you when you sign up for the year. Now, these were two plays we did today. I did Bank of America put option here. I did another Bank of America put option there. You get to see all these plays when you join the team. First thing in that description. And then I made about $1,300 off both of those plays in about 30 minutes, right? That's why you need to be joining. So now, Carvana is up a lot, right? If we go down to the 15-minute chart, it's up a lot. Could you have played it today? Yes. You even could have probably scouted today, entering here, and then slowly exiting as it goes up. But I was not looking at Carvana around this time to actually see that entry right so if you missed it that's okay don't get fear of missing out don't get fomo because you don't want to be trying to buy in high then it crashes down now you wish you never bought it okay so what we're going to do is let me take all this off i'm gonna give you guys new levels but you see that 25 dollars price target up there that is what i will be aiming for now again none of this financial advice is letting you guys know what i am doing that's what i'll be aiming for to the higher side the first one has already been hit 18 dollars so what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a support here. That's about $20.50. $20.50. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys enjoy these levels now. Uh, yeah, so $20.50. We'll put that as a support. We'll put that discount code over here as well. And the ticker symbol is right here. Buying level. There is none. Buying level is over with. The only buying I saw was here. And on this pull down, that was the time to get in shares and push it up higher, right? That was the only buying level. There is no buying level up here. We are already up 40 something percent. So the only way I'm looking to play this one is, so like I told you guys, I have a target of about 25. I even have another target. I guess I'll go ahead and put the other target on here at about 27. Just in case this thing's rockets to the moon, that's the second target. $27, right? So there's still a lot of room on the upper side that it can still go from where price is as I'm recording it about right around $22 ish dollars. The higher side is still 20% gain. And then this one is still 13% gain. So there's still over 10% gains that can happen. But there's a very specific way I'm looking to play these. So these are the levels, two targets and support, right? Watch support. You also want to see how Carvana does after market. Okay. Will it crash a lot in aftermarket or will it even go up higher aftermarket? Depending on what it does, I might have to update you guys on that. So make sure you're watching the aftermarket because I won't be. So let me know in the comment section if it's up a lot or down a lot in aftermarket. But these are your levels for now. There's no buying level or nothing like that. Resistance level. Uh, no, there's not even resistance level that I'm looking at. It's just the targets. OK, but how am I looking to actually play it? I will be looking for a continuation play. Prime example. Is something like this push up or run down run down to pacific levels now we don't just look for a pull down it has to pull down to pacific levels it has to hit something very pacific to show support and buying pressure okay it has to confirm there's buying pressure here and there's a such thing as buying pressure confirmation that's two different things make sure you know those two different things then that's what i'll be looking at to slowly scale up as we go up this is what i'll be looking out for tomorrow like a continuation play, okay? Target taking us up, depending on where we open, taking us up to about 25 to 27 on this continuation. So like an intraday, buying and selling the same day is what I'll be looking out for mostly. I think that's the best way to try to play this short squeeze movement right now instead of trying to wait for a buying level or so forth, okay? So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you also watch the video before this one on Palantir stock, the next massive move on that one. Follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Please make sure it's the right one. 
because there are scam accounts going around. And then if you want to join personal trainings, prices actually go up about $200 on Monday. Right now, it's about $999 one-time fee. Make sure you email me. My email's on my Instagram as well. Make sure it's the right email. Prices will go up Monday. And always remember, no recommendation of buyer or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.